them up, Lord, raise them up. We made seven feature films. We're praying about the eighth. And the Lord says, bring it back here to Albany, Georgia. And it's like, all right, here we go. Let's see what God does. I always enjoy working with the Kendrick Brothers, mostly because I know whatever's finna happen is gonna be an adventure. Teamwork. And action all around. The Forge is a story that follows a young man. He has talents and gifts and abilities. Oh, where are you going? He's Great. gotten out of high school, but he doesn't have clear direction for his life. Hey, Joe, you got two guys coming in. I see him. Yo, Jamal, where you at? I'm just trying to figure out how to balance, helping him know I understand him, but still pushing him to become an adult. You on the right track, girl. He's got to step up and step out because you can step in and speak up about him not stepping up, but you don't want to overstep the main step of loving him. And you see this older man, Joshua Moore, step into his life. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to ask you a few questions first. What kind of man do you want to be? And what do you want people to think when they see you coming? The training starts on Monday. Please be on time. Joshua is first mentoring Isaiah. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Joshua then says, this is the reason I live according to these truths. You've got this. We're going to let you run with it. I know what it's like to be angry. In Luke chapter 9, Jesus says something that's pretty startling. He says to the people around him, if anyone wants to be my disciple, he must deny himself. Take up their cross daily and follow me. Take up your cross daily, what does that mean? That means something's gonna die. This is what discipleship is. It's when someone opens their life up to another person and says, come and walk with me. Come sit in my home. Come watch how I treat my wife. Let me show you what Christ is teaching me. Let me show you how I'm growing. Let me show you how I pray to God. The mistakes that I've made that I can be honest and vulnerable about. How I reconcile with people who I've wronged. It exponentially increases their ability to learn because they're right there with us. When we follow Jesus, he bears fruit through us. That's the kind of man I want to be. I ain't never seen nothing like this. The message of prayer that was featured in War Room is interwoven in the forge. Karen played the role of Miss Clara in War Room. My God is good. And she resumes that role playing Miss Clara in the forge. Am I in the right place? Miss Clara, yes you are. The women in War Room that pray for each other and invest in the younger generation. You've got to teach other people to seek the Lord matches up to the men of the forge, praying together, keeping each other accountable, investing in the younger generation. I want to introduce you to a small group of men that mean the world to me. In the myth of the forge, you get to see men that have been forged, now imparting it to another group that are younger men. This is a good day. We grow together, we eat together. It's one of the most important things I've ever done in my life. I believe the church right now in this generation needs to get back to what Jesus did with his disciples. The body of Christ, the bride of Christ is supposed to be about turning all of our attention, our ambitions, our focus, fixing our eyes on Jesus. We are devoted to Jesus and we will do anything he calls us to do. I pray for you that you not be one in a million, but one of a million. We need more believers who are wholeheartedly following Jesus. Isaiah, welcome to the Forge.